What is that god awful noise? Well, that's what you get when you have a little shop vac. going in there. Why would you have that? YouTube taught me this trick. When I take this vacuum off, I should have the other end of the string with a little piece of plastic bag on it that I can use to pull the wire through. Stand by. All right, here's part two. And yeah, sweet. Vacuum head, pulled this through. So now I can take this contraption down hopefully pull through the wire that'll be part three or four or who knows how many parts hopefully not too many over <clears throat> all right next phase um this kite line kite lines that i'm using through the conduit up and over because the stuff is like super strong stronger than i am for sure and then i set up what I hope to work is like a spool so that the wire doesn't get twisted up. If you've ever had a mess of wire, you know how that works. So I made that out of a ladder. And uh, yeah, thanks to friends who kite like Mark and Cassie and this old epic bar, thanks to Delamitri, got a spare line, made a little spool to hold the extras. And kite lines are usually like 25 meters long or something. So uh, it has zero stretch, but super strength and hopefully perfect for a job like this. Over and out for now. I'm really pretty surprised because it worked. If you look up here, you see the end came through. And yeah, it's a straight line, no 90 degrees, thankfully. I've been probably not a successful mission. Um, and the other end's here, so I probably won't do another video until I have it all hooked up just to show that this uh, light works, big whoop. Um, but yeah, I expected to have the next clip or more than the next clip dealing with trials and tribulations of getting this freaking wire through because it actually takes a bit of force to pull it through. And all it would have taken is for like my tape to slip or a little, something else to happen and it would have been a fail. But uh, yeah, it was a success. So good on that. All right, that's a wrap. Um, not much to see here. It did work. I was kind of relieved at that because if it didn't work, I don't know what I was going to do. But yeah, all the conduit, straightforward to get from point A to point B. And um, point A in this case was up in here, an existing wire. You can see it going up through that caulk. Um, that had come into our you know, junk bike room, whatever. And uh, made use of it because it comes from a switch from inside, so it'll be very easy to control that guy right over there. So that's it for this project. Next one up will be a hands-free foot wash for sandy feet, inspired by um, Frisco Bathhouse and Stoke Master. That's it. I'm not sure if I'll ever post these videos, but if I do, hopefully they uh, are worth watching. Have a good one.